here with the guys from Gravdo and we're at Hole in the Sky here by the water. And you guys are from Bergen. And what's your favorite thing about Bergen? Favorite thing about Bergen? Huh, it rains. <laughs> I like the rain, so it's okay for me. A lot of people hate it, but maybe I'm just used to it. And you, what's your favorite? Uh, the mountains, I guess, is the most special things. You have a new bass player in your band who's actually playing with you tomorrow for the first time. Uh, tell us a bit about her. Yeah, her name is Christina Sonsangan. She's uh, actually educated as a uh, classic guitar player, uh, known from uh, some Oslo based band called Lucid. Um, and yeah, got in touch with her at the uh, Inferno Festival and yeah, she wanted to join the band and at the moment we had a bass player but he quit so we had this gig at, uh, going on tomorrow so yeah, we gave her the opportunity to try out and if it works well we will probably continue with her as a, as a live bass player. I think we will handle the bass in the studio in the near future ourselves. What happened to the um, old bass player? He uh, wanted to have a break from music, so he uh, yeah, simply took a break from everything and uh, I don't know if he's going to be back in it like soon or maybe ever, I'm not sure, but um, we'll see. And have you played Hole in the Sky before? Uh, not with Gravdal, no. Uh, I played in 2005 with Malsign. So, yeah, so this is the first time Gravdal plays. You're playing Hole in the Sky's Kids Festival, how do you feel about that? Uh, actually, I think it's very cool because, uh, you know, they don't have any chance to go down here, so they need an opportunity to see to see Matt Lex, so yeah, I, I, it's a good thing they have started here. And do you think you're gonna have beer, free beer backstage if it's a kids event? No, we won't. Punch. Uh, I guess it will be coffee to wake up actually. It's uh, quite early, so. I really like the album artwork on Torture Mantra. Tell us a bit about that. Well, um, me and me and the Elefterios came up with the concept. Um, of the artwork, uh, we've been discussing it a lot because of the uh, first the title came of the album, and uh, that's from where everything evolves for us, the music and everything. We get a, we get a sort of, we start off with the concept of the feeling of what we want to portray, you know, to the audience, audience, and. Um, when the when the when the songs were done, uh, we um, we had to sort of try to uh, visualize this in like a single picture. And we wanted to put it on the cover, of course, because that's that's the whole deal, you know. Wrap it in a box, you know. We have to make it stand out in the best possible way. As you said, uh, we uh, we're having some ideas about the cover and. Uh we got the guy called Robert Hayam to do the artwork and we gave him our ideas and he made it yeah, better than actually we expected. So. What do you guys like to do on tour? Do you like to get fucked up and do fucked up shit or do you just go to bed early and read your Bible? Uh, we like to do fucked up things. 
Uh, now we're of course with uh, sort of self-control, but uh, yeah, a good part is a part of being on tour, so uh, we actually just had one, but uh, yeah. And who gets the drunkest in the band? As it is now, it's me and him. <laughs> yeah. It used to be the drummer, but not anymore. And do you like, guys like any other music that has nothing to do with metal? Yeah, um, it varies a lot. Um, depends on time to time, but uh, come on, tell us. You can tell us. At the moment, I'm very into to reggae, but just for the rhythm of it. Um, I always had a soft spot for jazz and blues. That's not uncommon, but. If the world was coming to an end and there were no more women on the planet and you had to choose one guy that you would bang, who would it be? <laughs> Him. <laughs> who would you bang? No, I'm not sure. Uh, you have to choose one. Choose anyone, Johnny Depp, they're all available. Brad Pitt. <laughs> Maybe it's you. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Okay, well, thank you very much for the interview, guys. It was really great talking to you and I hope you have a nice night and you don't get too drunk for the kids tomorrow.